Stu here with Ooh La La Idle Adventure. Now, we're going to talk about cooking 101 and everything we do with cooking, getting pets, capturing pets, why we need to cook, why we need to cook that food to capture pets, what what else do we use that food for when we eat it? We can eat it ourselves to get up skills. Why do we need to cook food, capture pets so much? Because we need to up their pet skills. We also need to use it when we go into pet, what is it called, pet exploration, I believe is the name of it yes pet exploration we're going to need that so we can get multiple pets not necessarily multiple pets that we keep here we can release them but in our manual we need to unlock multiple pets and all those things but i do want to tell you first that we are still pacemaker right it's day four we are pacemaker now the first time we went pacemaker we got we got overtaken by havoc the next day this was this guy havoc who's running four guys on one account cool guy kenji said he talked to him and now we are so far ahead. Even I've got this buddy Monk in my Discord who I played a couple games with. He is on this same server and he's really strong and he's coming for us, but he's at 99.86 or so. And he said that we are crazy high far in the game. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they have a wonderful warrior. Let me click on him. This guy right here, Stu. This warrior is amazing and carries them through everything. If it wasn't for this amazing warrior, for Tech Tone, for Vulcan Games and Kenji to ride his back and, and just get in all of the glory then they would be nowhere so that's it that's all i want to say about that we'll move on to cooking 101 because they have that awesome warrior they are able to do it and we are still reigning champions for it and not only are we good here on the global actual server because you know the seasons go new servers open up we go for 15 days as a hunting season like this and then it takes us into like a big global server where everybody is that's what will happen with everybody's account overall for the global server we're actually very very high as well so we'll just see how that progresses we'll, we'll keep doing videos for it and we'll, we'll just stay on top of it so anyways let's get into cooking so cooking here really needs a little thing an icon a drop down legend that you can click on that is just like capture why do they need that because cooking you can cook anything and it can turn into a heavenly delicacy top class tasty mediocre or burnt doesn't matter what you cook so you always want to cook everything you can you're going to get cooking materials as you progress in the game from just drops right you can also buy some at the shop if you really needed a specific one i don't feel that you need to the only way you're going to need to do a specific food and make it really good is if you're really hunting for a specific type of animal now look look down here the feast capture now i just did a summons video where i did 10 of these i did 10 feast captures to do it at 12 percent and it gave me it gave me pets from the last three regions i was in okay say i'm past three regions and i wanted a pet from before but i want a good chance of getting that pet at a high level so then i could now this is the pay wise i'm going to show you the free wise after this so then i could go in here and cook i could cook anything i want so of that pet i'm gunning for so say i'm gunning for a pot belly frog walrus a puffer fish one of these i could cook it up and i could take make it a tasty fruit now i've got the same percentage chance it's going to turn it into of getting a legendary and more than likely i'm going to get a legendary of what i want right here 12 percent chance so it's going to give me those those pets those three different pets that we saw and hopefully i'm going to get a legendary because i'm going to have a 12 percent chance so that's how you go for a specific pet if you really want a specific pet if you know a pet's good high attack high whatever now of course the roles are different you always know that you've seen in the other videos that we did your pets can come out and have different stats. I can have two hairy cattle egrets and they can have two different stats here. Now they're gonna be primarily, it's an attack class, so it's gonna be pretty much a high attack, high assist, but that doesn't mean that their assist and attack are gonna be the same. One is gonna have higher stats than the other, so you pick the higher stat and you, and you release the rest. There's no reason to keep duplicate copies of a pet whatsoever. You don't need to keep duplicate copies. Release because you wanna get those tokens. Now you wanna keep different ones with different different attributes right i don't i don't want to keep multiple ones of frost and earth if i already have one for me an attack class of frost and earth if i need a defensive class of frost and earth sure i'll keep that as well i'll keep one attack one defense like i have here here's a good example of that this one has high guardian and high symbiosis and then of course you want stuff for this is a very high attack class as well but he is lightning and earth so whenever i need lightning and earth to c combat a frost person i'll bring him in whenever i need frost and earth to combat a fire monster that we're facing i'll bring this guy in so i have options to switch them out you can release the rest now when you release things and you find new pets you come up here and you click like show all or whatever it will flip them all over and you'll have these in your log now you want multiple pets in your log so you can do exploration we'll get into exploration in a minute so let's go over more into cooking so cooking things we know so again this is the biggest takeaway that doesn't show you anything about this in the game. No matter what you cook, it doesn't matter what you cook, it always has a chance to turn into heavenly delicacy where you'll have a 9% chance to get a legendary. The tasty fruit and the, and the feast capture, you're going to have to pay 
gems for that, pearls for that. You're gonna have to have pearls, which is a premium currency. You have to do the monthly pass or you have to go flat out and buy it. Those are the only ways to do it. But you don't have to spend money. You can just wait till you get a heavenly delicacy and then try that 9% chance because you're gonna be cooking every day. You're gonna be grinding every day. You're gonna get pieces of food to cook every day. So let's go in here and just start making some stuff. So you just cook, that is it. You just cook everything you can. Cook it up and wait for it to say heavenly delicacy. Hey, okay, top class is good too. I'll take that. Top class I think has a 0.1% chance of getting legendary, but it doesn't matter. You just took cook every day as much as you can and capture as much as you can. Top class. Top class is actually really common. So let's go back in here and look at our chart. The percentages, why I said that they need a legend over there showing that in cooking is because I don't know the percentages. I don't know the percentage to get top class, heavenly delicacy, tasty, mediocre, whatever, but I can tell that the top class percentage is pretty high for us to get it for us to get that type of food, whatever we cook. Heavenly Delicacy probably is pretty low, but I'd like to know the percentage wise to get it as well. So again, no matter what you're cooking, you can always aim for a specific pet and legendary if you wanna spend the coins on whatever you're cooking and make it into a tasty fruit. Then I can get that specific pet and legendary much easier, right? If I wanna do the feast and just do it right here, then I'm just gonna get whatever from the last three regions. So that is how you gun for pets. Some people have asked, do I need to wait to summon pets until I get really far in the game? I don't believe so. I think all pets can come in pretty much the same stats. If it's an attack class pet, I think that even an attack class pet at stage you know, 150, 200 down the line is still gonna be comparable stats to that. It's just a different pet. Now, if I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments below. But from what I've seen, I haven't seen a big difference. Of course, the dragons you can win from this are crazy. I'm sure there are gonna be select pets that are way more powerful than others and that aren't gonna be necessarily way on, way on down the road, right? There's probably gonna be some select pets that are really strong early stage, mid stage, and later stage. And we'll find out about those and then we'll actually have to gun for those. We'll actually have to make food for those specific ones, we'll have to go in here and be like, okay, here's where I get this marmot. Now, I wanna get a legendary marmot, so I'm gonna cook this up. I don't have, okay, let's go to something else I can cook. So here is where I want this bone guy. This bone guy is actually pretty cool. I would like to get a good, a good one of this. So I'm gonna cook this up and I would make it a tasty fruit and then I would have a good chance of getting him in a legendary. So that's how I would do that. But we're just gonna cook it up and hope for the delicacy, right? Top class again, so we do have a small percent chance. So every day, cook all your food. It doesn't show you that, but just cook all your food. It's random. You could get really good drops and then capture pets every day. Now, if you want to eat this food, that's a different thing. If you want to eat the food, you go into storage. If you're coming up, if I'm coming up to something where I need 10% HP as a warrior and I need to stay alive longer, and this might help me for the next hour, I could eat it. It would take that food away and I would eat it and have plus 10 HP. Now that's kind of late game stuff. I don't think plus 10 armor percent would be really nice too. I don't think right now you really need this as a tank or a healer, but sometimes for DPS to get an additional 10%, where's DPS? I probably don't have one, but to get additional 10% or if it's even a, a, um, a delicacy one, 15% or 20%, whatever it goes up to, could really help you get past the stage and progress. It's for an hour, it could help you get past several stages that's a big investment though, because that's something that you could pull and get a really nice legendary pet, but that is how you eat That is how you eat food. It's part of food cooking, that is how you <laughs> eat food, right? So you're gonna go in here, you're gonna do pets. Now the reason why we're gonna go and do pets so much and release pets, let me see if I can accelerate this one. I don't wanna spend pearls to accelerate it. So the reason why you wanna do this is of course to up your pet abilities. So you go to training. Now remember, everything you do on this game, it is not specific to that pet. If I up armor, it is to that slot. If I up an ability to get stronger, like tier one, two, three, four, five, it is for that slot, not that a specific ability, not my specific armor class. And if I do things in training here, it is not for this specific pet, it is for all pets. So when I look at pet research, all my pets are on pet research 29. To get up to 29, it took a lot. You saw me do that summons with, with 10 different summons, video of getting all those legendaries. I apologize, I didn't edit it, I just went through it. <laughs> but uh, I did a lot of summons there. And I took those pieces because here's 12 of when you release pets to research it. But when you, and it only took like plus seven, plus eight, it started out at plus one, plus two, plus three. And then to progress, now when I went up to research 28, it only took like seven or eight. But now to jump to 29 to unlock a skill, which would unlock this after active skill here, it's gonna take me 27 of these pieces. And I don't get any, this, is, this color should be gold. It's the golden ones. They need to fix that. It'll really help out for us to identify that that is the gold ones and the higher up ones and not the bone, but at least give it the same color, right? 
So this one, it takes 29 for me to research it. It's huge. If we want to go to the first passive, it's something crazy like, uh, oh, here it is, 38, which is going to take an insane amount of whaling money spent, which I'm not going to do, or us just progressing in the game and doing what I was just talking about. So you're going to cook food. You're going to hope for the best when you cook it. You're going to go over here and capture pets daily, not accelerate it, wait till it up, capture it, release pets that you want, because when you release pets, you get the, the bone pieces. We'll go over here in storage. When you release pets, you get these pieces right here. You get these these rare fossils either from epics or legendaries, and you get the, the normal fossils probably from epics and whoever else. But you can take 100 of these, no problem. I don't need these these lower ones anymore, and fuse them. So, so it, it, nothing is wasted in this game. Nothing's ever wasted in this game, which is great about it. So then now I'm at 13 of the 27 I need. I'll slowly get there we'll all slowly get there so that's how we all slowly get there it's not a problem and you do want to you do want to do this all the time you want to increase your pet your pet adds a tremendous amount of damage to your group or survivability if you're doing the tank one so stay on top of doing this for your pet cook every day hope for the best make sure you get something fancy i need to do a lot of cooking make sure you get you know hopefully you'll get something good but it doesn't matter even if it's not good make sure you're always capturing and you're not spending any downtime in capturing once this is up capture set your alarm for two hours, do another capture, get the pets, release the pets, keep doing that so that you can make your pet stronger by doing training, right? So then we can unlock this first one, this 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 uh, passive as well, and we can get all these additional add-ons. This, this added damage and assist and everything else, it's crazy for these pets. It really is. It adds a lot to your team, and it's part of the game. This is a big part of the game, a very big part. Now, the other thing, too, when you get all these pets unlocked, you're going to go to manual. You're going to tell it to flip all of them so that they're they're here. Now, you don't have to keep these pets. You can eat them like I've done. I've only keep, kept one so I could switch them out for certain situations. You're going to need that for pet exploration. Now, when you go into pet exploration, it's just like any game where you send guys out to do missions, right? You send like two or three or five guys out to do missions. It doesn't matter if it's uncommon, rare, or legendary it's random which island says that we'll get into this in a later video but basically you just send pets out on it when the time's up they come back with goodies for me that's it but for me to be able to do for me to have been able to do more than one at a time i had to have more pets i had to have 10 pets unlocked in that manual now for me to do an i can do i can do another one i can have three going on at a time but i need to unlock more pets so i need to get my manual unlocked with more pets is what it's saying it told me i need like five more to unlock so it'll tell you when you go in here to exploration once you have it unlocked and you try to do a quick join unlock five more pet manuals to do it so it's not actual pets in my physical inventory i can i can release those it's actually in my manual so it's telling me i need five more so i need 35 which i don't know why because i'm only sending five five and five out but i need 35 because it's what it's telling me so i need to unlock some more pets so if i really wanted to get down and to look at what pets i'm missing here i can look at what pets i'm missing kind of do a little detective work and see which food can cook that pet and try to get and try to gun for it but instead i'm just going to cook up all the food and just keep capturing pets and eventually i'll unlock it it's not a problem and in the meantime i might you know i might get lucky and get this this heavenly delicacy and have a chance to get a really cool legendary of, of whatever pets in there so that's how you do it so if you're gunning for something specific that's how you do it if you want it with with money if you're using money you you just add the tasty fruit to it and you'll have a high chance of getting that pet that you want if you don't care about what kind of pet you want and you just want to do the last ones in the last three regions then you just do like i did when i did that pet summons and you just keep going for the 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 what's this last one the feast capture and that's fine as well so it's really up to you so that is how you cook that is how you get pets this is why you release the pets make your pets stronger and just cook up everything the main reason i've done this is because it doesn't tell you here anywhere that you just keep cooking and you'll have a chance to get those it doesn't tell you there's no drop down chart here that tells you there's no tutorial that tells you there's nothing that tells you even to eat your food to get the armor increase or anything else so that's all i've got let me know your comments below let me know if this was helpful let me know if i missed something in regards to food is there something else out there that we do with food because of course you know i'm new to this game like we all are i'm not as far as maybe some people i'm level 41 i'm i'm, I'm making it of course but that doesn't mean i know everything so let me know if, is there is there something besides food that we eat to make ourselves stronger here in this section like if i wanted the 10 percent armor and to, to, to capture the pets. Is there something else that we use it for? Is there something else that I left out? Please let me know below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And just remember, no matter what tech tone, no matter what Vulcan Games tells you, Stu is the one carrying everybody to the finish line. I'll say Stu and Kenji because Kenji can't defend himself because <laughs> he's not on YouTube. But that's all I've got, guys. I will see you all on the next video.